When it comes to casting hard baits, you can really use spinning outfits or bait casting outfits. Uh, I'm comfortable using both. If you're gonna be casting to specific areas like target casting, a bait caster is more superior because you can actually slow down the spool and get that lure to land exactly where you want it to. So today we were casting to vegetation and rock piles out on the shoal and we were making long distance casts with the spinning outfits and also doing some target casting. Now the two bait casting outfits that I'm holding up here both have rods that are equipped with what we call split grips. Now you'll notice that this split grip, the butt is a little bit longer than this one here. So this is kind of the modern thing right now. You know, most solid bait casters work well too, like the, the back grip, but these are a little bit lighter, a little bit more sensitive, and a little bit, I, I find easier to use to cast because of this. You also notice that the reels look a little bit different. This one is an Advantis, that's the brand of the actual combo, and it has an Advantis rod, and it comes as a combo outfit. Probably worth about $100 for the rod and reel, so it's a really good value. The one that I'm holding here, the circular reel, is the Andros, and it's put on a TS2, which is the technique specific two-piece bait caster. So if you look up the blank here, you can see that's where the bait caster comes apart. Now, if you use a bait caster, you probably know that most bait casters are one piece, especially if they're shorter and not flipping sticks, because usually flipping sticks are telescopic. So the one piece is handy because it's strong, but it's very easy to pack and store, especially if you put your rods in a car. Normally, I'll run sometimes five to 15 rods with different lures. And if I have a small vehicle, it's really tough to get them in there unless you leave them in the boat. So bait casters work great if you're using hard baits and especially if you're target casting. All right, Pat. You know what, maybe this wind's gonna make the fish turn on, I don't know. You know what, we've been waiting for the wind and we finally got it. Yeah. And the gonna... bite I think is on too. Yeah, are you gonna flip it up? I think you can just I lift think... it probably with that braid. Just be careful and I'll grab it for you. I'm such a gentleman, you know. Now how are things coming along for this year's ICHA Fishing Derby, Pat? This nice year has been a phenomenal year. It's going to be a great one. It's one of the best ones, of course. We have you back yeah. at the Derby. And of course, we have uh, Mr. Clay Dyer all the way from uh, yeah. Hamilton, Alabama. Everybody's been waiting for him. There's been a lot of advertising, uh, advertising on the papers and local uh, TV stations. Everybody knows about it. It's going to be a great one. Now, how many years has it been? Four or five? This is going to be the seventh year. That's amazing. And it's unbelievable the way it's been growing. Good. I'm surprised you have time to fish with all the work that you have well, to do for the know, event. For you, uh, I take time and uh, good, good. get the area for you. Pat, that was a nice bass. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go back to the front with Clay. Great. And one thing, another thing I can tell you is, is to focus on the resources you have and don't focus on what you may not have. It's so easy to look and say, well, I don't have this. You know, I don't. I can't do this because I don't have this. I can't do this because I can't. You know, I don't have this. And I never have looked at my life in that way. I knew I had what it took to, to be successful. I knew I had a heart and a mind and a soul, and everything else is an added bonus. And that's that's plain and simple the way I look at it. I mean, thank y'all. With the friends and the family that that's you know related and, and friends of these people who have been competing today, I want you guys to dare to imagine what's possible because when I started, you know, it, it was people. 15, 20 years ago, when I started fishing, it said, you know, Clay Dyer will never be a professional angler. You know what? We proved them wrong. And I want, I want to uh, challenge you friends and family of these people that fish today that if whatever their dreams are, do what you can do to make it happen. Because I promise you, if everybody works together, it can happen. You know, all things are possible to those who believe. And if you'll get there and believe it and you'll work hard for it, I can promise you it can happen. And, you know, I, if people think they're disabled, you know, that we can, I can teach them how to overcome it. And that's part of why I love. But you know, I wanted the name of the view from down here was just fine because I can promise you the view from where I'm at on live is just fine. I love it down here. I wouldn't change it. I have a lot of happiness. That's why I like it like that. Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Dickies. Guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike. 
More fish bite with a lucky strike. There's no hooks on this thing. You should see his aim, too. Kermit is a big green monster over there. Okay, so he's got a spinning rod. This is uh, an average spinning rod that anybody would use. And just a balsa wood lure. Yesterday, he was making target casts along the break wall like this for silver bass. Amazing. Okay, so you pick your spot. Everybody ready? When you're reeling in a crankbait, you got to reel in fast and set the hook. I don't think Clay missed the fish. Some fish got off because we all lost fish during the fish fight, but just amazing. So we had a blast, and I've learned a lot.